Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about two examples. The first one would be about calculation of kinship and the second one would be about calculation of inbreeding coefficient. So what is a kinship? In biology and genetics kinship typically refers to the degree of genetic relatedness or coefficient of relationship between two individuals. Do not confuse kinship and inbreeding. This is two different things, those related to each other. So take a look at this first picture and what we see here. We see parent A and B and they produce offspring C. Then again, this offspring C is made with parent A, which is the same as here. And they produce offspring D and this offspring D is made with the parent A. Of course, such situation we can see only in animal breeding. We cannot see it in humans, of course. But as you see, again, parent A and D produce individual E. And again, we have here a mating with parent A and they produce individual G. Now we have to calculate kinship of the individual A and G. Let's start analyzing this pedigree. By the way, we call this back cross when we cross parent with its offspring in each generation. For example, here in the first generation, individual C are going to get 50% of its genetic makeup from parent A. And of course, another 50% is going to get from the other parent B. So 50% here and 50% here. Of course, this parent C in the next generation is going to be a parent, also is going to give 50% what it's got from the parent A and 50% from parent B. So individual D is going to have not 50%, but 50% of 50% would be 75% the same as individual A. So if individual C is 50% the same as individual A, individual D is going to be 75%. So as you see, just in one generation, we have a jump from 50% to 75%. And 75% is going to be a kinship between individual A and D. And again, in the next generation, the kinship is going to increase. If here the increase was by 25%, now it's going to be increased by 12.5%. So half the number of the previous number. So 25 is half of the 50% and 12.5 is half of the 25%. So the kinship of the individual E and A is going to be 87, 87.5%. Now let's find what is going to be a kinship between individual A and G. Again, we have one more mating here and what is going to be a half of the 12.5. We have to add another 6.25%. And now the kinship between individual A and G is going to be 93.75%. So this is going to be our answer in this case. But again, do not confuse this number with inbreeding. Inbreeding coefficient is going to be much lower. So this reflect kinship between individual A and G after how many crosses? One, two, three, four. And one, two, three is back crosses. Now let's move to the second example. So we see a lot of inbreeding here. Not many animals can tolerate such level of inbreeding. For example, only laboratory mice. And in this example, this is fish which lives in the same tank and of course they can tolerate in breeding
pretty well, uh, especially not wild fish, but uh, the fish which we usually keep as pets. Take a look. For example, individual C and D are not inbred, as well as E and G. They can be brother and sister. But for example, individual H is inbred. Take a look. We have a loop here. So it goes like this. And it also may go like this. So basically individual H from the mother side and father side has the same grandparents. The same is true for individual I and individual I has the same grandparents and we have two loops here from both uh, father side and mother side. Individual J is also inbred because the same genes can be passed from individual A from both uh, father side and mother side. So we have actually here and of course we may have many more loops here. I'm not going to show all of them just to save a time but you should understand that many more loops can be shown here. And individual J is in bread. Now let's take a look at this branch. What we see here, parents O and P produce offspring Q and R. They are not in bread, but this is brother and sister and they produce also offspring, brother and sister who mate and produce individual U. So again, we have multiple rings here, how genetic information may flow. So individual U is also in bread. Let me show you a couple loops here. So it can be one variant. Here's another variant. And as you see, individual U is also in bread. But no matter how inbred parents of individual Z, because individual Z is not part of any loop here, individual Z inbreeding is going to be zero. So individual Z is not going to be inbred. One more time, don't make a mistake here in such calculations. For example, some people may add, for example, inbreeding coefficients of the individual J and Q in order to find how inbred individual Z would be. This is not correct way because individual Z is not part of the loop and no matter how inbred his parents, individual Z would have 0% inbreeding coefficient. None of his alleles would be identical by descent because they cannot come to individual Z from both, say, father side and mother side. And this is all for today. Don't forget to subscribe.